Hello, yes, welcome back. Uh, this is our part two of uh, the series we started about repairing laptop motherboard using schematics. So the objective of this series of video is actually to understand the depth of how laptop motherboards work. So this second part, we are going to be looking at some of these small motherboard components. We are going to be looking at their names, their functions, their schematic symbols, how to check if they are fault, and some signs that can maybe show you if a certain part is faulty on the motherboard. Before we actually get to know how the schematics work and how to read it and how to interpret it, the first thing is to know how to get a schematics. As you are aware, schematics are some kind of confidential documents made by manufacturers and it is actually challenging to get schematics. However, schematics are there on the internet and you can actually get them. So before we go any further, I want to show you how you can actually get a schematics of a certain device. So today I want to show you this number on a motherboard. You see this motherboard has got different labels. We see these labels, we see these labels, we see these component labels, but there is one big number here, this one. So this is what we call a motherboard number. This number is issued by the original equipment manufacturer. What I want to let you know guys is these motherboards are not actually created or manufactured by the companies. Let's say this is the ESA laptop and this is ESA motherboard. But this motherboard is not manufactured by ESA. It is manufactured by a different company called Compo. This company is actually from Taiwan and they have different neighbors that can tell you how who made the, the, the motherboard. Now, there are many motherboards which have this number which starts with LA. As you see this one, this is LA6582. So, the motherboard numbers that, that start with LA are made by Compo. So, another motherboard here I am having, this is for a HP Elitebook 840. This is actually D1. And I want to show you this number here. This is the motherboard number. This number starts with 6050, 825 and other numbers. This one starts with LA. So this one is made by a different company. So if you are looking for schematics of a certain motherboard, you should do. The first thing you should do to look for this motherboard number. Then another thing you can use is to search. So this one is ESA 5733. So you can Google this number and look for the schematics. So I'm going to show you how you can use this number google it and download its schematics so what you do uh, you head straight to go to, to your google and you open your browser when you open your browser you go to google then here at the search engine you type in this number so this number is la you type LA, it's better to use capital LA uh, space 65 uh, 6582P 82P. The options will be already there. Like you see now, they have brought LA 6582P schematics, body view, BIOS, motherboard, and others, manual, and everything. So you look for schematics. Another thing I want to show you that in schematics model number or motherboard board number, there is no letter O. Any letter you see as zero is a number. Okay. So here is this website. There is one this day that we call Lab One. This one is S Manual. This one is Alice Seller. This is actually one of the best uh, websites where you can get schematics. This one is called Bad Cups. So we shall use the first one. You see, I've ever actually Googled this model number here. So you go down, you click on more. You download the motherboard and the schematics. So you click download. So it has downloaded already here. As you download these schematics, they are mostly in a format called the PDF. There are many PDF readers out there. Many people use Adobe, which is paid. But there is a very, very good schematics reader software, which is called Sumatra. You can Google it. 
they will actually take you to the website it's a free open source pdf reader it is very very good okay so this is how it looks you can google it and download it and when download it make sure that these schematics you can say open with then you use as sumatra as its default okay so when you open with sumatra it will show like this they will show you compo confidential stuff they will show you the board number and processor that it uses plus the type of ram it uses okay so we have seen how to download schematics but then another thing i wanted to show you you can still google using a, a motherboard a laptop model number so this one is called acer 57 33 put space then it says schematics okay if you search by the model number then they will still bring you uh here it is they will show you the body number which we used before which is 6582p the same year so different websites offer these schematics there are some websites that offer these schematics at a certain price and if you are able to afford you still download them and you can pay and download then there is another thing that i want to show you that is very handy when using these schematics there is what you call a body view a body view is very good because it shows you different components on the motherboard the type of motherboard that have don't have these labels okay so a body view is a software that can help you point out where a certain component is on the motherboard but not all motherboards have body views that's why you have to learn how to search for these labels and actually how to know the diff the, the shape of certain components on the motherboard so after we have downloaded the schematics the first component that i want you guys to know is called a coil a coil is of this shape these are the bigger ones there is this type there is even these smaller ones okay can you see this one so that one is a coil they look like resistors but they are coils the first way you can identify these coils on a the motherboard they are always labeled with the letter l like this one is called l 18 can you see that this one is labeled pl10 this one is labeled pl30 okay whenever you see a letter l on a component it indicates a coil the function of a coil is to boost current and create different volts on the motherboard so every coil here is on a motherboard it creates a different kind of volts the symbol of a coil on the motherboard is simple let me show you actually how you can check these components in the schematics so here i have this one which is called pl38 so you come here on your, your sumatra pdf reader you type in this name p l 38 the software will take you directly to the coil and here it is can you see it let me zoom in a bit okay so this is the symbol of a coil whenever you search a symbol in any schematics or any electronic document just know that is a a sign a symbol of a coil now this coil you see it manufactures or it creates 1.05 volts which is called the vtt this is the voltage that goes to the chipset so that's the symbol of a coil then another thing i want to show you is how do you measure if this coil is faulty or still working so this coil the best way you can check and you can use resistance they are inductor calculators but the best way you can check all these coils continuous okay when you put the probes on each side of a coil a coil should make this sound and their resistance is very low most of them around one two six around there 
if you see a coil that is not beeping it is a sign that that coil should be defective okay so this is a if you find a coil that is not defect is not continuous it is defective then another thing you can know that a coil is faulty is if you find that this voltage here is more when you have powered up the motherboard and you see that here as the schematic says it has to produce 1.05 so if you find that it is producing over 2 volts that's a sign that this coil is faulty okay